Last time on Echoes of Wisdom, we found out a rift was expanding in the desert. We went inside to find all of Tri's friends and close off the rift. However, after returning to the desert, an imposter appeared, and the village chief was forced to strike them down. We now have permission to close off the rift. I've been informed of the situation. The plug stopping the quicksand is just through here. But the place is swimming with monsters. I haven't been able to get past them. To think that all that was needed to be done was to pull the plug and drain the sand. So we need to pull that plug so we can get to the rift entrance. Let's go, Zelda. All right, cryptic cave. And it looks like we have some new enemies in here. Alright, where is our boulder? We have so many things to scroll through now. Alright, what are these guys and how do we deal with them? Can I just run past them? Oof. Avoid those. Was hoping he'd just hit the switch. Oh, he took one out. I'm going to have to go through there because I want to pick that up as an echo. Alright, seems useful to be able to use these guys like traps. And we can also block them using rocks. Should allow us to get through or at least hit the switch somehow. If I stop running into them, of course. All right, now I just got to make my way over to that treasure chest. Oh, we have a Gibdo. I haven't seen one of these yet in the game. And they seem to have turned them back into mummies. They're no longer insect-like creatures like they were in Tears of the Kingdom. Of course, Gibdos have always been weak to fire. Collecting all sorts of echoes in this cave. Well, I think that's the key that's going to allow us to drain all the sand and enter the sanctum. Hopefully now we can uh, close off this big rift, or at least enter the dungeon.
Okay, definitely have to check under all these sand piles to see if there's anything hidden. Well, 20 rupees wasn't bad. Okay, I don't seem to be able to get up there to hit that switch. Alright, how am I going to get past this? Can I just run past it? Well, I've learned that we can stand on them now. Oh, you can climb in these bottles? I didn't know that. Well, we have a fairy in a bottle now, just in case we die. Huh, how do I get through that? Ah, interesting. So I can put boxes on those and ride them, but... It's hitting the uh, ledge and falling off. Trying to see what enemies are effective with dealing with these spiked enemies. Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with the sand pile, it seems. Not sure if that's right, but it seemed like the easiest way to deal with a sand pile that's across a gap. It also seems like dropping something on top of those spike traps kind of kills them. Even if it's not the big crusher enemy. 
That platform enemy reminds me of the Thwomps from the Mario series. Is that a different type of Gibdo? Probably still weak to fire, though. Oh, that one turned into a re-dead. Gibdo level 2. Okay, we have a couple options now. Oh, here's the plug we need. We just have to pull this in the sandal drain. We did it. Now we can enter the rift and start taking on the dungeon. That fraud lied to us. We restored the entrance and there weren't any monsters. That said, there will be monsters inside the sanctum itself. Keep your guard up. Alright, this looks like an entrance to the rift. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. Ah, uh, we have another imposter link. A person in a green tunic. Zelda, wasn't that Link? There's no way that's the real one. We're definitely going to have another battle against a dark Link in this temple, it seems. Okay, how do I get through this? Okay, I can't climb up there. I think I have this figured out. Perfect. Just needed to move that rock into place to block the fan. Okay, so I can warp back to this point. It seems like this is the start of the dungeon, so maybe there isn't, like, still world before the dungeon. Oh, we have no shield to deal with these. Would be a lot easier to turn into Link and just use the shield, but... I don't know if I need to reserve that energy. So far, we're gaining a lot of money in this episode. There we go, back to full health. It almost feels like cheating to be able to heal anywhere like that. Okay, I need to summon something to deal with those bats or keys. Now I have to try and figure out how to get across this and jump up. And it seems like it's going to be a timed puzzle. Perfect. Okay, 
Can I just pull this open? Pretty cool puzzles in here so far. Huh, those aren't enemies, but we can learn them as an echo. Snake statue echo. Why is that one got purple around it? Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, what are these? Some sort of mini boss fight. Let's try the P hat. Seems like a good way to deal with flying enemies. Mothula Echo. Get it, P-Hat. Okay, this room seems to be buried in sand. And I have to find a way to deal with that. Okay, I don't see any way of getting over there. Huh. Can jump across, but then how do I get those boxes out of the way? Can I use this platform to cross? It might just fall down the gap. Well, that wasn't helpful. Uh, that'll work. I just got to get it further out. Okay, that angle is no good. Perfect. Yeah, we have some of these rolling enemies. See what some of our new echoes can do. Well, that's not very effective so far. But at least it fell down. Yeah, let's see if I can drop down and get that treasure chest. Alright, we got a gold egg. I haven't used one of those yet because it seems important. 
It's one of those items that seems too powerful to use right away. Okay, I want to say Dark Nuts were useful against these rolling enemies because they're armored. Problem is I have so many Echoes now that it's hard to find the one I'm looking for. I wish you could put some of them away and just choose what to take with you. Nice, took him right out of midair. Okay, which way do I want to go? Can I run up this hill? And then what's up the ladder? Options here. Okay, so the ladder just takes us back to the top. So we do want to run up this hill and go down further. Alright, we have some sort of puzzle here, but also a waypoint. So this might be a good point to save. Alright, sink... Seek two distinct tributes. Clues to the desired tributes are recorded somewhere on this floor. Alright, I think we're going to solve this in our next episode, so I hope you'll come back and see us take on this dungeon next time. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.